<laughs> Elastic band toys I'm always fond of, and they come from the very earliest part of my collection. This one, for instance, a little butterfly, has been there for many, many years. You wind it up so many times. Well, you're supposed to do it 40 times, I think it whirls away. So I'll put one in a book here, which I got for Christmas. This is about walking sticks here, so I'm not into that yet, but um, perhaps I'll better keep it just in case. But when you try to open the book, I'm going to stand back for this because it's going to do something. And it goes, whoosh, whew, yes, that thing came out. But it just about got to the ceiling as well. So when you do it 40 times, you've got a lot of pulling power there and something like that. It's a very nice little trick to play on people. You don't need to put it in a book either, just put it under something and when you lift it up, whoosh, up goes this little butterfly. So a clever little trick to play and kids love them and you can get them. They've done it for years and years and years. They never seem to stop. Another one which is very curious, this one, I'll see if I can get it to focus. This is a handmade job. It's bits of grasshopper. It's a little bit iffy. I spent a bit of time playing with it to find out how to make it actually work. And if I put it on the table here and just open it as one normally does a thing, it looks like something. It even says push very helpfully. It tells you what to push. So when you push it, is that, oh, this flips up. Oh, 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 it's sort of thing. It's moving. What it consists of is simply a little straw like that. It's called just a bit of straw. And it's got elastic bands in it and it twirls around fast and comes out of the box, sometimes rattling as it comes out, sometimes leaping up. It's variable, I have to say. But it's, well, it's a lot of turns to make it go, but I'll have one more go. You're supposed to wind it up both, well, like this, doing it both ways, and then, then it helps to make it go a bit faster. But it's all to do with the fact that you have to put, uh, I usually put some, some, um, uh, some grease on the on rubber bands to make them move a bit quicker and easier and things like that. You do lots of turns, you put it in, ouch, it's trying to leap out of my hand. You put it into the box, Sometimes it leaps out, more often it needs a bit of encouragement, like turning it upside down. Oh, no, no, it's not doing it. How funny. But half an hour ago, it whirled around, so perhaps I've got to put some different elastic bands in it. It's a clever idea, that because I feel it can be developed. You could actually do this with longer and longer straws, but at the moment it consists of literally two straws and a little central straw and elastic band going in between them. So it needs a bit more work done on it, but it's a clever idea. And I think it's got promise providing you spend a bit of time developing it. Think about straws and elastic bands. That's what you want to do, straws and elastic bands. The next item is a lovely one because I've had this haul for many years. We put this in the Christmas pack, I think, or we tried to. It's the old leaping fish. So this one you need to be, um, it's got a little bait inside it, and see, there we are. It's just a little plastic thing, a fish. <laughs> it's only catch like that. Boom. So to set it up, all you do is you put it on the table, which I'll now do, coming down. Let's see if I get it into view. You have to open it by squeezing it. Now, this is a tricky bit. You've got it in here, either side. You've got an elastic band in the middle, you can see. That's a very strong elastic band. And it's got a little bit of Velcro here or something sticky there. So what I have to do is to make sure I push it down so it sticks. Let's get it here. But if you push it too hard, then you're in trouble because it just stays there and refuses to do, do anything at all. It's, it's trying to come, it's trying to pop open now, so that's good. I'll put that there, I'll put a little bit more pressure, tiny bit more pressure, tiny bit more pressure. Oh, a little more. Here we go. Ooh, no, 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 too much. It's trying to. Uh, oh, oh. Well, it's sort of um, caught, it caught the line, but not the, not the bait. That's funny, isn't it? The actual uh, pink. Um, Bait there has, has been missed, but it's caught, caught the line, so that's not bad. I'll give it two out of ten, shall we? Let's give it a squeeze and open up the jaws and put it into how, how it should be like that. That's tricky to do, but it's a lot of fun. And the last item is something that I spent a bit of time with about 20 years ago playing with. It's the old snapper that's been out for 100 years or more. Something where you have a piece of wood like that with elastic band going into the bottom, it makes a loop. Here you've got a tiny little little tongue and you have to put it in and just twist it round so that uh, and now it should be any luck yes it's attached to it or so you claim and of course it's not much you can do apart from that and it's a bit of a have actually but I won't explain how it works so I had a go at this 20 years ago and made the super duper version this is the super duper version of a snapper now look at this 
it opens up like that. You have to push it in and squeeze and turn and turn and turn until it absolutely locks on that elastic band at the bottom. And now we've got some... Oh, yep. Fair enough so far, okay. Except you know how it works. What about this then, if I do it that way, like that? It's actually snapping down a lot faster than under gravity because it will go the other way as well. That can't be done with the other one. It cannot be done. And of course, this one will go like that, like that, which you're familiar with, and but it'll go like that, which is not familiar with, and that, which is impossible with the old system. So you've got to undo the elastic band, bump, bit of pushing, pushing, and pushing, and pushing. <sighs> and now we've got to see if we can rejoin it. We've got to put it in there, that, that, we've got to twist it around like that. <clears throat> And see if we can, yeah, we've done it. Except you're all going and you say, yeah, we know how it's done. Okay, <clears throat> we'll try again then. Put it in. This is tricky, that, because you've got to really push it in quite hard. <clears throat> and <clears throat> now we'll see if it does something interesting. Well, we'll try this one, for instance. Oh, yes, that's interesting. Hey, what about this? Oh, yes, 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 that's better. And then we twist it and give it a twist and all the rest of it. So how does that work? Well, it's got four principles there, which you probably weren't aware of, but count them up and have a go yourself, because the original one just does one little trick, and this does a whole lot more. Uh, and I had a lot of fun with it. And I'm still fooling people. Never been marketed either. Woo! <laughs>